Hello again. Uh, this I wanted to share. This is my EMAC uh, uh, trainer for 8085. Uh, back then, uh, I got this in 95. I, I remember I was repairing uh, credit card readers like the grocery stores to the computer level. I mean to the chip level. Um, and they use a, a processor bigger than this. I think it was like the 8080. I'm not sure. I think it was the 8080. And I wanted to learn assembly code, so I got this from Emac. That's E M A C Emac. As a trainer, as a kit, build it, put it together. It didn't have the communication options, so I had to program in code, in the in the machine code. Run the program, see how it worked, and when I turned it off, I lost all the, all the work and what have you. Then later I upgraded it. Right now I have a program I wrote. Then, I, this program reads the ROM, and it throws the data out. So, sometimes you'll see, uh, you know, letters on the screen. is a uh, service routines that Emac writes to make the program writing easier, though you can write them yourself. But you can call on a lot of service routines as you use this board. Also, you can interface it. Here's the interface switch, I mean, our plugs. Uh, that you can connect it to uh, other systems. I'm going to turn the light off so we can see this. And I got a foot switch down here to turn this on. Or had a foot switch. There's my, okay. See, uh, the, here's one of the service routines. Uh, this is reading. Uh, it's checking your RAM and your ROM. Uh, and then if it passes, this shows on the screen like a, the little writing on, on the top says you are test. It passed means we're, commu uh, we're connected. So the next one checks the ports. Uh, I think those are your data lines. And what we want now is the receive a file. And we are going to send that program, hopefully, to, to the to the 8085 computer. Press 7. The file name is hex l2.obj. And we got it. Sometimes in the mid, this is like the fifth time I try to make this movie. My finger grows numb and I cut the, the movie short. It's running. We downloaded the program. And there we go. It's, it's sending the data to the to the displays, and also there's part part of the uh, uh, ROM stuff there, uh, sending it, and uh, it, it has a slight delays. I think I, I played with this. I would play with it like like a three-year-old, and I would write so many things. Now I forget. I have to. Uh, I'm slowly getting back into it, but right now I am I am kind of rusty with it. So there there it goes. Um, the good part about this now is that uh, uh, I can uh, you know write the assembly language with an editor and send it to this uh, to uh, you know build things with. Also, the Procom I could not find anywhere. There's, you know, there's all kinds of versions, trial office, but this one was like before 1995 when it worked with IBM uh, uh, PCs, and it still works. So I might put it somewhere where you guys who are interested in electronics and computers and things can get it, and it's still fully functional. But it won't be today, so check, check, uh, check in a few days, and I'll, I'll put it on my server. You can get this version of a Procon. Now that I don't care if the if my finger uh, uh, flies off the switch, I'm going to show you a little bit of the Procon. I'm going to turn the light back on and uh, let that run, and let's see if we if we get it to break.